The reason we have response cars landed because the aircraft doesn't fly at night, or we don't use it at night. It can fly at night, but we don't use it at night because landing in London during the day is difficult. At night, it's very hazardous because of wires and stuff that we can't necessarily see. The Skodas are the VRS version, fantastic. Absolutely get across London very quickly. They're comfortable, they can carry the kit, all the cars are video equipped inside and outside, and they're safe. They are incredibly safe cars, but they're, they're very fast as well. Phenomenal car. We provide exactly the same service as we do during the day. So during the day, we can get to our first point in around 12 to 14 minutes in the aircraft. At night, there is less traffic on the road, and you can get across London remarkably quick. As long as it's safe, we, we are allowed to exceed the speed limit. So it's 30 miles an hour above the speed limit that you're allowed to do. Crossing junctions, it's walk, walking pace. There was a test case recently, what is walking pace? Four miles an hour. We go for a VDI every day, a vehicle daily inspection every single day, beginning of our shift, both in the morning and at night. So the, the duty team will come in, they'll check all the tires, oil, petrol, water, all the kit at the back of the vehicle, the, the driver's responsibility, they sign for that vehicle. So if I sign for that vehicle, if there's something wrong with that vehicle, it's down to me. My job is to drive the vehicle. My first priority is my team in the car. I want to get to the patient, absolutely. But there's no point of us stretching our limits, driving too fast, having an accident, and hurting one of our team. I want to go home at night, I want my team to go home at night.